Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So we are back with the Charvel. This is a little bit of a revise from the last video that I ended up making about this body and the artwork that I put on it. So this is what the customer wanted. He wanted the, um, I guess they call it the Rising Sun, but I really didn't care for the, the way that the first masking came out. And if I don't really care for how it looks, then I'm sure that somebody else is not really going to care for how it looks, especially if it's the owner and he sent me a photo of what he wanted and how he wanted it. And I kind of followed it, but I wasn't using it as a reference. So I printed up the photo and the second time around masking this, I ended up taking that photo and basically matching it almost dead nuts with the body. So. The sun was too big, the rays were coming off, off an angle from the sun, it just didn't look right. And the difference between the photo uh, is this guitar doesn't have a armrest on it like this one does. So that kind of throws things a little bit off, but not by much. Because then the sun doesn't look like it's a complete circle, it almost looks like it's from different angles, it's, it's like an oval or egg shape because of this angle over here. Everything's masked off, ready for paint. So I'm happy with it. And you know me, guys. If I'm not happy with it, I'm going to redo it. So that's what I ended up doing. Sent him pictures of this one. And it got the wow factor that I was looking for. He's happy with it. So now I just have to spray it. Controls are all masked off from the inside, so nothing will overspray or anything will get inside there. All of the pickup cavities, everything's been masked off, so no overspray will get into any of those cavities. Neck pockets masked off, back is all masked, masked off, sides are masked off. The original has a wrap around a little bit around the edges, so that's what I did exactly with this one. That's why I was waiting for that blue tape, this blue tape here. Because it's flexible, you're able to stretch as you're bending it so you don't have wrinkling on the opposite side of the bend and uh, yeah it works out a lot much better the thinner it is the more uh, flexible you are as far as movement and everything else but the hardest part about it is masking up to a real real thin line tape because this one here is not too bad I'm able to you know mask half of it on a thinner one yeah, it's a little bit more difficult but you still get some good results with the, the little bit thicker of a tape. And then I went over it with around the edges with the half inch because uh, that really didn't need any type of a dramatic uh, bend around the edges or anything. So the sides have like the same look as the body does that's on the paper that I printed. The sides will have the same look as this wall. All right, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it, and I uh, hope you guys are having a decent week so far. Mine started off, uh, well, this morning I wanted to do a little bit of painting, but they were calling for rain, and we woke up to thunderstorms, and it's kind of drizzling now. So a little bit of painting, as in tomorrow's supposed to be, I guess, uh, I guess it's like 60% rain today and 50% tomorrow, so we'll take my chances tomorrow and see what it's going to be like. I'm going to give this thing a few light dustings of paint, and I'm not going to spray it heavy. I don't want to have any real thick paint lines over here, so when I go to put the clear on it, uh, there's not going to be any, it's going to be all smooth. There's going to be no bumps or anything. So, all right, you guys, take it easy. I'll catch up with you later. It's my story. I'm sticking to it, and uh, yeah, have a good week.